Hello and welcome to our next installment of the National Museum of the Marine Corps Weapons Wednesday. I'm Jonathan Bernstein, the museum's arms and armor curator. Today we're doing a special edition of Weapons Wednesday in order to cheer on the U.S. Olympic shooting team currently competing in Tokyo. Team USA has been impressive thus far, about halfway through the scheduled events, winning gold in men's and women's skeet and men's 10-meter air rifle and silver in 10-meter air rifle mixed team. Congratulations all! Shooting events have been a part of the Olympics since the first modern Olympiad took place in Athens, Greece in 1896. Although no U.S. Marines competed in any of the first five Olympic shooting competitions, they've been a steady presence on the U.S. Olympic shooting team since at least 1920, when Sergeant Morris Fisher won three gold medals in the 300-meter free rifle, team free rifle, and 300-meter team military rifle. Four years later, he took gold again in both 600-meter free rifle and team free rifle. Gunny Fisher's gold medals are proudly on exhibit in the museum's Global Expeditionary Force Gallery. Shooting events were removed from the Olympic competition in 1928, but began to return in 1932 with a single rifle and pistol event, and three events in 1936, but none of which saw the U.S. reach the podium. World War II preempted the 1940 and 44 Olympics, but 1948 saw a significant return of shooting sports. Marine Corps Reserve Captain Emmett Swanson shot in the 50 and 300 meter free rifle and small bore rifle events that year. While the museum doesn't have any of the type he competed with in 1948, the Hammerly rifle Swanson used in the 1930 Antwerp International Championship can be seen alongside Gunny Fisher's medals. 1952 would be Swanson's last year competing in the Olympics, but he would captain the team both in 1956 and 1960. The weapon we have out today is a high standard Model 102 22 caliber pistol, the type of pistol that then Captain William McMillan used in the 1960 Rome Olympics. McMillan shot an incredible score of 587 out of 600, breaking the 1956 record set by Romania's Stefan Petrescu. However, so did McMillan's chief competition, Finland, Finland's Pentilinus Vuo and Russia's Alexander Zablin, both of whom also shot a 587. This resulted in a three-way shoot-off with each shooter firing another complete round of three target frames. McMillan shot a 147 out of a possible 150 points in the shoot-off, scoring a perfect 50 on his middle frame. McMillan's score earned him the gold, while Linus Vuo shot a 139 for silver and Zablin 135 for bronze. While 1960 was McMillan's best performance, his first trip to the Olympics was in 1952. He missed out on competing in 1956 due to a weapon malfunction, but returned in 1960, 64, 68, 72, and 76, making him the most experienced Marine Corps Olympian. The National Museum of the Marine Corps wants to congratulate all of the U.S. Olympians on a job well done and on to 2024. For more information on the Arms and Armor Collection and the National Museum of the Marine Corps, please check out our website and our social media pages.